Hello, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be designing on Photoshop. Today's lesson, how I make simple editorial posters. Let's go. Design essentials. For this particular design, I've picked out three images to use. Detail type. Not too much as the concept is on the collaboration between Kim Sejong and Longchamp. Logo. We only need the one for the brand. Background images. We will replace the sky of the normal images with a new one and create a more vibrant blue to make the model stand out. Textures. Not too many. Subtle textures will do the trick for this design. Other details. There is no real set amount for other details. Just keep in mind what it adds to the design and don't make it too busy. And that's all we need. So, on to the process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 장난하니 됐어 해 굳이 욕해서 왜 욕하니 와리 가리 아비 엄마 온 조만이 집이 걸어봐 해만 안 욕해 The camera raw filter is a huge step in making your images look better than they already are. If you are using photo shoot images, they would have already been retouched, but the camera raw filter is a great way to add in parts of your look and style. You can manipulate them to look the way you want them to. Take your time with this step as this can really bring your images to life in a more interesting way than they did before. Then, on to further treatment with blending modes. Personal favourites of mine have always been selective colour to increase the look of outfits and skin tones. Then with the curves, to add in more shades to the light and dark areas of the image being worked on. Another thing that I have already done is turning the eyes black and white, but leaving the iris in colour. This gives a real contrast from the black and white of the eyeball to the colour of the iris. Then, add additional brightness to the black and white area you masked out for an even more of an intriguing look. On top of that, I do my regular skin effect, which gives a lot of contrast and smooths out the skin. Create two new layers, one named W and the other B for white and black. Set those layers to overlay. On the W layer, turn the brush opacity down to 30%. Then, use a soft white brush and go over the light areas of the image that are already there. This gives additional lighting and contrast for the next step. Once that is done, move on to the B layer. Turn the brush opacity down to 15 to 20%. Then do the opposite. Go over the darker areas of the skin, mainly where the shadows are to see a real contrast and new look to the image. Repeat this for every image you use to keep it cohesive, bearing in mind that each image you use will have a different lighting setup. Now let's talk composition. Composition is something I love challenging myself on. You always have the option to try something new as each photo shoot you work with offers a different style and look which gives you, the designer, a brand new opportunity to use your creative talent. The way I set out my design is based on the images I find. In my head, when scrolling through images, I will always keep some of the images I find in the back of my mind, seeing whether the next one I see could work with the others. Then I finally come to the decision of which photos I think would work best and then start to imagine a layout in which I think they would work. Once I have my first image in place, that then gives me the building blocks to understand where everything else can go. Sometimes, the idea you first have can be difficult to pull off and may need some experimenting. Here are some past designs that were quite difficult to work with but ended up being some of my favourites to create. Design really isn't fun when you work with the same type of imagery all the time. It's always good to test your creativity with whatever images you are given. This design, however, the composition came to me somewhat instantly, which is always a great feeling as you feel very comfortable when staring at that blank Photoshop canvas. As soon as one image is placed, then everything starts to follow seamlessly, as you will see in this design. As I said, this design is simple and easy. Nothing too complicated, just getting straight to the point of the collaboration which we set out to do at the start. If you ever get stuck on a design, just save the document and start something new. Then, in the next few days, you may spark up an idea that completely rejuvenates your first idea and leads you to a better design than you planned. And remember, nothing has to be rushed if it's a personal project. There is no time limit, no deadline. Rather than rushing and wanting to post it on social media right away, relax, don't stress yourself out, make sure you create something that you enjoy and are proud of.
And there we have it, the final design. It took approximately an hour and 30 minutes, which isn't as long for a design, but I wanted this design to be easy and simple. That's why the completion time isn't as long as some of my others. Overall, I'm happy with how this design turned out, and I think it would fit Longchamp's Instagram feed with this bright and vibrant colors. As there is nothing complicated going on with the design, it gives the audience an easy time to look at it, see the details and process the details behind the design. With the cut-off images on the right-hand side, that was a choice I made to intrigue the audience into wanting to see the fully blown out image of the product, driving the users to the website and wanting to see more. Hopefully you guys have learned a bit about my process and understand not everything has to be complicated in terms of getting a message across in the design. Personally for me, simple and clean design is always the best for when you are introducing a product as clean cut as the bags Longchamp are advertising here, so collectively it works together. Thank you for watching and more videos coming soon.